Hi Cancer, this is your channel messages for the, I think it's the 19th. I think it's the 19th or 18th. I don't have any technology to look, okay, of September. Cancer, um, I was hearing, she's on my dick. Da -da -da -da. <coughs> Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, right? She's all on my dick. All on my dick is she's all on my dick. <coughs> are you listening to Pop Smoke? <coughs> what are you listening to? Huh? What are you listening to? I'm listening to Pop Smoke. But, but what? Pop. Who's Pop Smoke? Is this guy? Is this singer? I, I'm listening to Pop Smoke and I'm cleaning my room. But, okay, well, but how... How did Pop Smoke get on your on your speaker? I just said Alexa, play Pop Smoke, and he played Pop Smoke. Okay, Dad. So can you just leave me for now? I'm cleaning. I got him all on my dick. She got her all on my dick. Billie Jean, Billie Jean. Christy and Dora. <laughs> I'm getting Pop Smoke. I want to let y'all niggas know. I love y'all. I fuck with y'all, and I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be not without y'all. Yo, I'm just telling wait till this album drop. These niggas gonna be like, yo, this shit is crazy, right? Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, right? Okay, let's go ahead and go into your reading. I don't know. The biggest song that everybody knew and people love about Pop Smoke was Tell me what you know about love, right? Mm-mm. -mm. Shawty go jogging every morning And he make me breakfast almost every morning And he take a naked pic before he leave the door I be waking up uh, And every weekend my shawty coming over She like But she like fashion over mm, nah, 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 nah. I'm pulling in a rover With her asshole I said she say what you know about love I tell you everything I got what you need Walk up in the store and get what you want He get what he please We about to take it off Take off them drawers It's just you and me We about to peel it off I want you go raw Cause I like what I see mm. You got my heart beating so fast in words I can't pronounce And I've been feeling the time every time I feel your touch I've been looking on the top and girl it's only us All I need is your trust Ain't gotta told you once, don't let me tell you twice I know you see that thing in my pants that I know you like And your ass be looking so fat when them be in them tights And I'm going straight to the top, hope you ain't afraid of heights You always keep me right, the fact I never left Through all my trials, tribulations always had my back So here's 5500, go and get your breasts Start rubbing on your body, start kissing on your neck Hey, bada bada, hey, bada bada. Well, I gotta. I had to apply the pressure because he's my hidden treasure. I think I'm falling in love. So, cancel, you said what you know about love. I'll tell you everything, right? That is. I don't mean to brag, cancel, and I don't mean to boast. But usually, that is the question in my head when I meet a man. I say, what you know about love? You don't know shit about love. You know that? You know about working? You might know about stacking that. Yo, we're making money, <laughs> no Illuminati, right? You might know if I start that blood clot money. You might know how to dress. The perfume I have on smell really scintillated and seductive. But what you know about love? Let me teach you. Sometimes I teach them money about love. Them like this bitch has this bitch has to be having six other niggas. No way this bitch can be perfect. No, because the bitch is teaching you what you know about love. See, Cardi be there try to teach offset that about love. Unconditional love. That's why she gave him a kid. Cause usually that is the most unconditional love people can experience. A mother to them child, a father to them child. Even though sometimes some of us come out with pre-existing hatred against us because of what our mother did to our fathers and what our fathers did to our mothers. But when we're talking about a normal thing, cancer, what you know about love? How love supposed to look? How you supposed to treat, be treated? You're supposed to explain to your partner how you must how he must love you? Or him supposed to already come pre-built knowing how to love you? Or love a woman? So that's what Pop Smoke said, even though he was a criminal. <laughs> and even though a lot of people didn't like him. She got it all on my head. She's sucking dick in the dread. Right? Even though people never like him, he sang a song. What do you know about love? I'll tell you everything. I've got what you need. 
you walk up in the store and you get what you want and then I get what I please. He knew the equivalent exchange. I buy you shit and then I can take the shit off of your body and enjoy your body. Hopefully raw. We're assuming that these people did um, STD testing and they were monogamous towards each other. Okay, great. If not, use a condom every time. And when it comes to condoms, put two on. Guys, don't put two on. It's going to burst, okay? But any fucking ways, Pop Smoke said that. What you know about love? As gangsta as him was. Now, obviously, he never know much about love because kill him, kill him. So the hatred he got wasn't from women. Maybe a woman set him up, we don't know, but he's a man he'd pull a fucking trigger or he's a man kill him. So he never knew much about love. He knew much about taking care of women. But, cancer, maybe that's something you want to ask yourself. What is love? Does love mean sex? If you don't want to have sex with him, don't love you. Does love mean only spending time with you? Does love mean buying things for you? Does love mean checking up on you and making sure you're okay? What does love mean to you? So I ask you, what you know about love? I'll tell you everything. Maybe you're going to meet somebody for teach you what love really is. Because I feel like you don't know what love is. You know what your role in a relationship is, cancer. When you're the man, you know, say, oh, I have to be the masculine one. I have to pay for things. I have to look a certain way. That is why you know you should be in a relationship. But you don't know how you're supposed to get treated. You, you don't know what love is. You know, say you want one girl. You know, say you like her. You find her attractive. And you want to hopefully keep her around as long as possible. But what you know about love? So hopefully you meet a girl or you're going to meet a man who says to you, well, you know about love, I'll tell you everything. They're going to tell you everything. And remember, Cancer, I'm going straight to the top. I hope you ain't afraid of heights. Because if you're afraid of heights, then I'm going to have to let you go at the height that you least scared at. You always keep me right, the fact you never left. Through all my trials, tribulations, always had my back. So here's 5,500, go and get your breasts. I will not be getting breasts with 5,500. I'll be saving three grand and I get some cheap ass cannabis for holding me for some time. And what else would I do? I will go for my driver's license. So here's 5,500, go and get your breasts. Start rubbing on my body, kissing on my neck. Hey, bada, bada, hey, bada, bada. I had to apply the pressure because he's my hidden treasure. I think I'm falling in love. Let's go. We got a wish doctor coming out first. Okay. I don't know who you're falling in love with or which person is trying to make you fall in love with them. And you, they even gave it. They haven't even given you 5,500. They have not even took it to the store and you get what you want so them can get what them please. But they're talking about love. Come on, I just want you to suck it. Just please, baby. I just, baby, please. I just want you to suck it. Suck it? I'm not going to suck it. I don't fucking know you. Baby, please. I'm just asking you. Please suck. Will you suck it for money? How much? How much would you suck it for? Excuse me? You think I'm fucking broke? You want me to suck it for money? Would you suck it for love? Right? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck someone's trying to pin on you, but I'm getting it's a witch doctor thing. That being the energy is being manipulated. We have a larceny. So somebody is basically trying to lower you somewhere, pretend to them love you or they want a second chance with you and they make a thief from you. They're going to bring you into their fucking place and then thief the whole of your fucking documents. Who knows what the fuck else them going to thief? We have the Empress, right? The Empress is the highest exaltation of Venus. She know what love is. She know what love is. She will make you feel like you're the only other boy in the world. The only boy that she'll ever love. Not the only one who knows her heart. Right? She's the empress. She can teach about love. So, unless you're a king or you're a court card, the getting, if you're there with the empress, there's nothing you can teach her. You can't teach her about sex. You can't teach her about coming. You can't teach her about love. You can't teach her about attentiveness. There's nothing you can teach the Empress. Nothing. Even without kids, she know how to take care of kids. Phone number. One more. Me getting yeah push. Forget the Empress phone number. Cause you want to fuck her one more. Come let me give you some good, good fuck. Lights, the music, turn up. Watch me sing. Yo, at church, me I go. Feel like for put on my name to. Come let me give you some nice, nice wine. Call me Earl and not alkaline. If that pussy are good, one more time, one more time, 
one more time time yeah that's why you want to the empress you're trying to explain to our baby i love you baby let me tell you what love is bring you to the store and get what you want he's going to bring it to fucking starbucks and tell it to order what you want off of the fucking medium menu that's what the fuck him going to right you want for the empress one more time the thing that you should have understood is that the empress know all your cocky feel up inside of her she passing she don't want it again she want to try a new dick now she's going to take her chances on a new nigga for break her heart rather than going back to her old nigga who already show her in dirty blood clot ways can't be getting yeah use magic for the empress so the empress can come back or you want her badly you got tea from her we don't know what you're stealing from her we don't know if you want camera time we don't know if you can see her documents or you're basically trying to swap destinies with her and you want her phone number yeah pressure pressure the empress for your phone number blue 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 which means you and two other men had been in contact with the empress before so now your friend them tell you your man tell her everything so you can get her back in your presence the reason why you want the empress back in your presence is because um you want fuck her the empress has already know every stroke every motion and everything you do in the bedroom she don't want it again she wants to see what another man lips can do because remember even though the empress is venus she's also um um lilith a lilith Adam, Eve, and Lilith. Adam, Eve, and Lilith. She's Lilith. She's no blood clot, Eve. You can't seduce her and tell her, say, I promise her a gun, no blood clot, Eve, and she'll open her legs. Like she have done for the fucking snake. This is Lilith you deal with. She fuck you. You not fuck her. She fucks you. There's a difference. When you're there with a girl, like, you notice that the girl fuck you. You notice that the girl seduce you. And the girl kiss you up everywhere. You notice that the girl, the girl fuck you. you. You need to be very careful. Be very careful when you're dead in one room with a girl and you notice that the girl will fuck you. You notice that she want you to sit down, she don't want you to do nothing. She won't go on top of you and she won't fuck you. Be very, very blood clot careful of women like that. Because if she lay down and make you fuck her, that is one thing. If she starts fucking you, bro, you know where the fuck you get yourself involved in. The high priestess, where they're getting yourself involved with a high priestess pussy. Because there's nothing you can teach the empress. There's nothing you can teach her. Have you ever climaxed before I can show you? Yeah, I'm a seat already in my life. Have you? I'm going to show you how I can devour you in the bedroom, sir. By the time I'm done with you, I hope I can devour me in 10 minutes. The high priestess and the empress. Somebody getting it very, very twisted. You might love for fuck, but that doesn't mean you're fucky fucky. You might love to take part in sexual activity, but with who? You might like for fuck for fun, but what kind of fun we're talking about? We're, talk we're talking about the type of fun where money is transferring in your bank account. Are you going to a nice um, day spa to get massages and then fuck? Like what kind of fun we are talking about? Come and get in your thing. The Empress is a blood clot. Eve, you feel like the Empress is an Eve. This is why you're fucking yourself. What is which doctor? The Emperor. This is, the, uh, this is a real ass nigga, this person in them life, right? You come, you come talking about, oh, oh, you, you, you don't love me. You don't love nobody. Uh, Katara, I said that I love you. No, you don't. You don't love me. You don't love your own self. Walking around this house talking about, you love me and you sorry. You ain't sorry. You ain't love nobody. Nobody but your own self. Right? You're getting the emperor. Maybe the emperor know about love. Which doctor? Maybe the emperor is an older man and he's in love, but he feels like he is not in the running to be a man who can be in love. I feel like I feel like because you're too old, you can't be in love. You can't feel butterflies in your stomach. Sir, even if you cannot feel butterflies in your stomach, you can feel how ejaculation feels. So love is love, emperor. Me getting at the witch doctor keep a try to pair you up with younger man. I'm getting a man I like you, but because him older, him don't believe that you will have sex with him. Sweetheart, when you're older, we can't fuck you. Sometimes when you're young man, them, they always try to uh, um, do what they learn in the gym, right? They try to use fucking gym weights to replace fucking sexual activity. Okay, fine. Sometimes when you're there with the old man, them, it's nice. You can't fuck them. They work fast um, and the morning is crazy. Um, yeah. You're thinking small. Here you are thinking that, oh my God, my penis do go up and down irrationally. So, so I don't want to be with this person. And when, when she's in the moon and I'm going to have sex with her, right? I can't get it up. Sir, I share fuck you. You're older. You never know that. You're older. Once it is, once, once gray hair starts show, sir, I will fuck you. You're not fuck with no more. 
Hello? Right? This is what the fuck happening. So I'm getting the emperor. I feel like somebody want multiple men for have sex with you so you can get over the urge of having sex. Dun dun dun. Ma have white liver car me a Indian. Remember the top member, the first one. Teacher, me member car. You want me first one? Someone has white liver. I'm sorry. Someone liver is not red. It's white. That means them love. That's what the fuck it means. That's what we say in Jamaica. See, your liver white, no? Why you keep fucking all the time? Are you, you have white liver? What the fuck is wrong with you? Where's your fucking and no babies is being produced? You know sex too well. What's larceny? The star card. Yeah. Unless the emperor won these. I don't know. Sweetie, um, Cardi B was a stripper and she still became one of the biggest. So you thinking a girl have to send up her body count to 800 or 1,200, right? Yes, I got bag of things at 1,000 and shit. Them say she suck about a 1,000 dick, right? Even if she suck a 1,000 dick, right? Um, you getting emperor, you still want to suck yours. You want to be the 1,001 dick. That's what the fuck you want. Me getting there's a lady she younger she sexy she beautiful but you older and it's not like you can't provide for her the only thing that's stopping you is you don't know how you can please her in the bedroom can you eat safe that's how you're going to please her in the fucking bedroom and she's going to please you in the bedroom too i don't understand why are you making a fool out of something because you have young youth what is going one hour in the fucking bedroom but them can't buy you nothing other than a blood clot cup of coffee so emperor i feel like you're putting yourself to stress that you do not need right now let us clarify what phone number is it is the ace of cups but also getting the emperor while your phone number this older man the older man want to talk to you i don't know if you want to talk to you on the phone or i want to talk to you i want to invite you out no i do feel like something is going to be leading ending in sex no matter how you you, you drive it it's going to end in a one night stand it's going to end in a sex right but i'm guessing somebody want to offer you something before it leads to sex what is the one night stand is a queen of swords so I'm getting intelligence though. I'm getting this is not something where you go out and you get drunk out and you come home and just take off your clothes and have sex. Somebody wants to sit down with you, talk to you, have a conversation with you, build a vibe with you, drink with you, get intoxicated with you, then get romantic with you. So it's not really just take off your clothes and fuck you. Somebody wants to have this uh, sapio sexual conversation, this energy around you before. Because someone's an older man. And them sex drive may not be as much and even if it as much because they're an older man it's just going to be weird if them acting like a young horny teenager when i'm getting someone's very attracted to you i'm getting that man you like when you're naked and him in a clothes but you cuddle him that's why him like if you sit, sit around this man this man will tell you to take off your brazier take off everything you're okay you're all right naked take off everything i will just say take off everything no i'm gonna tell you to take off everything he's gonna be in a clothes and he's gonna say come sit down on me that's what that man you like. Him like when you're naked around him and you sit down on him. Or him like something about naked female body on his body that has clothes on. What is the Empress? The Eight of Cups. The man want you to drink with him too. The man you want you to take off your clothes so about sit down on him while him drink you a drink. And you're naked. Him want you to see your breast. You see him want to everything. But you sit down on him and I drink with him. That's what him want. This is what this man fantasy is. And him want while him I get drunk or while him I go under the influence, you're naked in front of him and he can just touch you one, two times, stop, drink again. Touch, like that's what him want. But him want being a close. Him don't want to get naked. Maybe him scared about him body. But me getting somebody is actually very good in the bedroom. Now somebody might not last long in the bedroom, but me getting them know how for. <laughs> You know that will keep me longer. If 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 you can't have sex, but you know how for good, that will keep me. That will keep me coming back from a one night stand rather than you had good dick, but you don't know, pussy. I'm going to be very honest with you. I I I'm going to tell you what somebody tell me here. Um, Canada has broken me very very badly. So I am sorry. I can't be it. I can't do nobody unless you are. <laughs> You wanna run close to me, you ain't going home where he's supposed to be. <laughs> I like let your nigga <laughs> I might let your nigga show for me, but he gotta eat up the light groceries. He gotta get rid of these hoes for me. 
if he wants me to expose the freak, ooh, that's how it. And don't don't bother tell me say I want to be a nasty girl because Big Sean had a baby and he did marry Jeko, Jeko, Jene Jeko, Jene, right? How you think that baby came in Jene's belly? Cause he ain't hurt when you like groceries. You gotta get rid of these hoes for me. He got you know which hoe he got rid of. Apparently the hoe was fucking Ariana Grande. Big Sean left blood clot Ariana Grande for Jeneka, Jeka, Eko. You want to ride on the clothes to me? He ain't going home with his phones to me. Mm, I might let your nigga show for me, but he got to eat my ass like groceries. He got to get rid of these hoes for me. If he wants me to expose the freak, ooh, the has it goes for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a Canada is you broke my bad. There I, I was a nice woman who was into traditional sex in Jamaica. <laughs> like, but I'm just saying, I was okay with being with a man who did not go that way. Since I've been in Canada, Canada uno that's what somebody tell me I'm gonna use them same verbatim towards Uno. Uno broke my bad. I can't go back. Me for take up myself now as a divorcee with no kids. Me for take up myself as a devil man who just like have sex with me. No, sweetie. You gotta eat my auntie like groceries you Gotta get rid of these hoes for me If you want me to expose a freak Ooh, one more, I'm gone The high priestess, I'm clarifying and I'm done I feel like someone's petite And you like that, you like the petiteness of somebody I'm getting an older man and a younger woman I don't know why you feel weird about that Both are consensual, both are going to have age the, the most them I gonna say is, oh, she taking your money. And you know what them going to say to her? Oh, him cocky can't work. Little do they know that you've been sitting down on his fucking face. The, high, the empress is clarified by the eight of swords, though. So I'm getting your kid, I'm getting your... I'm getting kidnapped. You kidnap the high priestess. I don't know if you kidnap the high priestess so that this other celebrity could. I don't know if you kidnap the high priestess so the empress could uh, have more attention on them. Or this man like the high priestess and they, and they get rid of the high priestess. And I push up the emp this you know, the man face. Or I'm getting every time I do one man and see him for good. For some reason a girl just come out of the blue and start inbox the same man. He never ever got any offers before. All of a sudden a girl is going to be sent in for fuck up one and a half. And if the guy is stupid, stupid enough, he might go fuck the girl right after you. And that's what the emperor wanted. Because not only do I not like seeing you fucking this woman I want to fuck. You ain't even doing well by her. Look how easy it was. After you fuck her, you promise her everything and she go home. But just send another girl for come over your yard and leave her dirty underwear over your yard, right? And look how easy you fall for that. You just had a fucking empress in your bed. And you sell her out for your chicken neck. The empress going to be like, nigga, I'm going to fuck it up. Because you don't deserve her either. And I'm here being old, being so fucking scared that this bitch won't go for me. You have this bitch and you still choose another pussy? Look, the emperor called one girl and said the girl to go online and go meet you. And you, you fuck her, you, you take the fucking bait. And then when you're finished, you want to go back to the empress. And you want to tell the empress, sorry. Because you realize the, the empress are your best choice. It is your best choice. It was your best choice for getting head and having you come with her mouth only. That is what you could have gotten. Instead, you wanted to be a hoe in these streets. That's why the girl going to give her, her her expertise and everything that she has learned. She's going to bring it elsewhere. Because you didn't know how to appreciate a woman. She just wanted to be a potato. And you abused her. I'm going to leave it here, cancer. Until next time. Bye.